Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you the SU-27. To find it you go to Aircraft, Fighter, Soviet Union, which is right here. And then there's the SU-47SK. You could pick one of these, but these aren't the SU-27 and I said I'd be doing the SU-27. So here you go. So, it can hold in this rear thing, it can hold uh, 250 uh, and 500 kilogram bomb, if I'm not mistaken, which is 2.2 pounds, which is why it's like this, if you were wondering. Um, each kilogram is 2.2 pounds. Um, and then you see these missiles here. One of them's radar and the other one's not. And the range is slightly different. So if you want to have constant radar lock, for better range, go with the Alamo, and if you don't want to have to deal with the radar, go with the Alamo A, but remember, it's five th it's five kilometer distance, or five meters. The only difference here is that they have the KS-17, which has a decent air-to-air uh, -air warhead of 110 pounds, because why not? Uh, burn time of 20 seconds, an acceleration of 130 knots, so that's Kind of long range. And then same with here, but we got uh, the cursed Russian rocket pods. Then same with here, we have all of that. Just gonna slap a bomb on there. And here's where it's a bit different. We also have the archers with that as a 16 uh, pound warhead. Um, and it's really not that great compared to the other missiles. It is lighter though. The archer doesn't have any advantage, its targeting cone is lower, it has less of a warhead mass, it has a lower burn rate, a lower top speed, and its acceleration is the same. So if you wanna use that, you can, I guess. And then same with here. So I don't need to load out the full aircraft, you get the general idea. So then to spawn in, you go here, click civilian or something like that. And remember, arrow keys can help you move around, and then go to wherever you want. Civilian is for the civilian things, air base is for the air bases, and then carrier is for the two carriers in the game, the G and Darren, and the USS George W. Bush, at least on Alpha. Q and E moves around your spawn, if you remember, and then that little yellow thing shows you where you're face when you're facing forward, or wherever you want. You have to move your mouse, or else it won't actually update the new position. So once you've done that, E to turn on engine, zero to enable combat mode, and then once your engine is on, semicolon for afterburner. So, there we go. Now that we're going, uh, where we can point up or use that. And then G for landing gear to go on. And you've successfully taken off. Now that you're in combat mode, you can press V for machine gun. And then six for a bomb site. Sorry, if it looks like the machine gun's going on for way too long, it's because the server will lag. And keep going. B to drop bombs or to follow. If they're controllable, you can use arrow keys. One to go back, and you should see that crash. There we go. Then for the rockets, you have to make sure that they're in the targeting area. The UV-32s do not target. If you saw that, and then. You can either hit left control to target the person closest to your mouse, or click on their box and click set as target, and then make sure that they're inside of your targeting cone. Here is the UV-32s, just a Russian version of the Hydra pretty much in this game. You can also follow these, but yeah, they're fun. I like them. You can attach a lot of them to the Sky Raider, I think, or that one Russian attacker, and it's always fun. And here we go, here's all these. You can see the warhead mass, they're slightly different explosions. So, here we go. So yeah, you can see the explosion difference, kinda. It's not very big. Um, and then some cities will actually have like boxes around them that if you try to bomb them, uh, they'll just explode over it, like Volgo and Chernobyl, and if some other places I'm pretty sure. But, hope you enjoyed, and see you next time.